Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Connie and this channel is all about plants. I live in South Florida and I post a lot of plant shopping tours at local garden centers and big box stores and other plant related videos. I keep most of my house plants indoors here in my plant room, but I live in a tropical climate so I'm also very fortunate to be able to keep a lot of my house plants outside year round. So I have a lot of my plants on my back patio and on my front porch and from time Time to time I'll post plant chore videos outside and today's Saturday and I have a lot of plant chores that I need to tackle so I figured I'd take you guys along with me so let's go outside see what all I have to do and let's just get started first of all this dracaena tree right here drops a bunch of dead leaves all the time so I want to rake up these leaves there's also two hedges here that need to be trimmed. They've grown out of control over the winter, and so these need to be trimmed down. The one on the left is actually a cherry tree. It looks like it's getting cloudy right now, so hopefully I have enough time to get out here and do that. And here on the front porch, I also have some plants that need to be repotted. I have this Alocasia cucolata that's in a nursery pot. I wanna pot this up in a bigger pot also have this metanilla that i want to pot up into that gray pot right there and then i have a diefenbachia cougar back there the leaves are really drooping because it's dry and it needs more space to grow so that one is in a huge need of a repot i also need to water the house plants on my back patio and prune any dead or yellowing leaves as well as my cacti and succulent collection So the next thing I want to do is trim down these hedges. Hopefully my trimmer is charged so I can get started with this because it looks like it might want to rain. But let me go grab it and we'll get started with this. Okay, so the cherry tree on the left is always a little bit shorter because this one right here has very thick stems on the top. So I usually don't even bother with that. I'm just trying to trim it up because if not, it's gonna grow out of control. So it's a lot better. I'm just gonna go ahead and clean up. Also, Ginger's at the groomer right now. So I'm gonna try to hurry up and clean these leaves up and then go pick her up and hopefully I have enough strength to do more because the sun came out and it's super hot out here.
So I wouldn't say that this is perfect. I just wanted to trim up these hedges and clean up around that Dracaena tree because those leaves die out and they get everywhere. But it got so hot out here that it was hard for me to do it the way that I really wanted to do it. I do want to trim up a little bit more underneath there. And I also want to clean out the whole bed on the bottom and change out the borders. So that's going to be for another day. But at least right now, I did get these trimmed up. And so it's going to be a while before they grow back. But I'll come in another day when it's not as hot and clean them up the way that I want them on the bottom and switch out the borders and everything like that. All right, so I went and picked Ginger up and I got some dinner. It's now around 6 p.m. And the only other thing that I'm gonna do tonight is water these plants here on my back patio. I do at some point wanna take them out and prune some of the dead leaves and just clean up this area thoroughly but right now, I'm only gonna water. So these kluzhas have grown so big and they're so top heavy that whenever there's a little bit of wind, they just keep falling over. So I need to get these planted down into the ground because it's just not working out right now. It's not too windy right now, so it's they're standing up okay. But once there's like a little gust of wind, they fall over and they make such a huge mess because the leaves get everywhere, but you can see how big they've gotten. So here's a quick look at some of the plants that I have here on my back patio. We got some cold weather here this year for winter, but not too cold. So I just left everything out here and I didn't even use any frost cloths or anything this year and everything is fine. That Diefenbachia Puerto Rico got a little faded out i think from the cold weather and then this ficus elastica taniki got these brown spots all over it but i'm not worrying about that because it's starting to warm up here again and i'll probably just prune off some of those leaves and they're gonna start sprouting out new leaves for the spring everything will come right back there's a Raphidophora tetrasperma that I put out here. It's growing so big. And remember, remember this alocasia that I got from Amazon? Yeah, so it's still alive, but it's not too many leaves left. And there's my Diefenbachia reflector. It was so small, but it's gotten so big out here. 
this is the big one. I trimmed this back recently because some of the leaves were looking a little weird, I think from the cold weather, but that'll come right back too. I'm not worried about that. That's a Raven ZZ that my mom gave me a few years ago. It's so huge. Those are all new leaves sprouting out. That's a dragon scale alocasia that I had gotten from Home Depot a few years ago. And sometimes it loses a lot of leaves, but then it comes right back. So it's doing good right now. This is the alocasia wintii that I repotted not too long ago for my pop-up shop. Remember I trimmed the roots on this one. It's growing up so huge now. I got this string of hearts from Home Depot a while back. It's growing out of control. It was growing all into this little table. Here's that cactus that I got from Walmart not too long ago with the red variegation. I love this little astrophytum. This always puts out these really pretty yellow flowers. And look at this desert rose starting to bloom. Got my variegated elephant bush. I actually have a couple of those. There's one here and one back there. So yeah, everything looks pretty good here. Look how this one's growing. And then that's my Euphorbia Lactea that I got a while back from Walmart. This thing is humongous. That's a chocolate drop that I got, I think from Lowe's a while ago. And if you look closely, you can see these little yellow flowers because this is a Euphorbia and so is that. And they both get these little yellow flowers. Also, this is the little DIY potting bench that I made. It's doing great. It held up really well as far as the paint and everything. It just needs to be cleaned up. But other than that, it's really fine and I need to get out here and start repotting. Also, this is the fern leaf cactus or succulent that I potted up in here when I did the DIY plant wall and it's growing so much. I love this and I actually want to move it inside somewhere because I just want to see it more. So I'm deciding whether I'm going to move it inside. That Hoya obovata is growing insanely. It's all the way up the wall. It's pretty faded because it gets a lot of sun, but it still does put off a lot of flowers. But yeah, I can't wait to get out here and start doing some more spring outdoorsy plant chores. Hey guys, it's actually a separate day and I am going to finish this video off by repotting the plants on the front porch. I have three plants in total. The first one that I'm going to repot is this Diefenbachia cougar. I have my soil here. This is just potting soil mixed with perlite and some orchid bark. Let's check out the roots on this one. Not too bad, really. That's that one, Diefenbachia cougar. So let's look at these roots. Whoa, this one is totally root bound. This needs it badly. The next plant that I'm gonna repot is this Metanilla Magnifica. And this is the one that has those beautiful pink flowers that drape down like bells. 
All these dark leaves are new leaves since I got this. Let's see these roots. This one's in here kind of tight. There's fertilizer in this soil already. All right, so this one's fine. It's not root bound at all. And it looks like it has a lot of good slow release fertilizer beads in there. All three of them are repotted and I think we're good to go. I'm just gonna water them and that's gonna be it for this video. Here, I absolutely love how this Alocasia Cucolata turned out. It looks so much better. And also the Metanella. All right, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this outdoor plant chore video. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up, comment, subscribe, and share for more plant-related videos. Until next time, thank you guys so much for watching and take care.